Hello and welcome to uh, Copper State Treasures. I'm Tim. Uh, today we're taking a trip out to the uh, Barrett Jackson Auto Auction in Scottsdale. Uh, we're going to go on a little scavenger hunt. Um, whenever I've gotten a new antique car, first thing I want to do is find like a similar car, a car that's the exact model uh, that I have. I want to see how it was restored. Uh, I also want to look at original cars, cars that have never been restored and look and see how original it is and, and kind of compare it to my car, see if I want to make any changes. We're going to go around and see if we can find cars 1930 and older. Uh, there's a lot of cars here. Uh, in my thinking, newer than 1935 is kind of a modern car for me. Um, I want to see cars that are taller, spindly looking wheels, uh, original motors, and uh, something where it kind of rattles when it goes down the road. You don't know if you're going to fall, fall out of it or uh, you don't know whenever it's going to break down. Uh, if I see an older car that's been uh, rotted out with a newer motor, that's just not that interesting to me. So. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe and um, let's go on a scavenger hunt. Uh, this is a beauty. It's a 1915 Overland. Uh, it's one thing I love about these uh, these older cars here. The the wheels, you got this uh, wooden fellow. Um, later, you know, manufacturers went to a steel fellow, and it's, of course it's demountable. You look at the lug nuts, one, two, three, four, five, there's, there's six lug nuts on that thing. Uh, Ford and Chevy had four. But just looking over the car here, A real sleek design for 1915. It's got the um, the four leaf springs. There's two in front, two in the rear. Uh, you've got your uh, speedometer pickup here. That actually looks like Stuart Warner, to tell you the truth. Really cool. Really cool. I wish we could open up the, take a look at the engines on these. Let's see, oh, that's, that is a Stuart Warner. So you can get in here. Yeah, you see that speedometer? Stuart, I, I have that speedometer. That is really cool. Little uh, three speed. Duh. Just take a look. This is a 1915. And hey, look how tall this thing is. It's like, I'm six foot two. <laughs> my, this has got to be know, six foot eight or something like that. That's a really tall car. Um, and these older styles, um, these would fold. Uh, let's see, I think it folds, it folds back. Yeah, so it's, you, you can loosen this, the windshield will fold, but there's another hinge here. So it's. Uh, some of these cars would fold. And it looks like the top probably loosens up right here. So they've got these supported here on the stanchion instead of like the, the Model T Turing I have. The top supports right here on, on the stanchion at the top. Um, you've got uh, kind of a similar saddle here for the top bows to rest in. Uh, this is probably a lock, so you put your top bows in place, this goes over and locks it down so it doesn't fly up. Uh, another cool feature you see here is uh, got the uh, stoplight. That's probably the original. Uh, you've got your other leaf springs here. Uh, where is the gas tank? It's got a uh, like a overdrive transmission. Let's see. Wow! Here, let me get this under here. That's a nice, nice, clean-looking undercarriage. 
Oh, very cool. It's got an open flywheel. Let's take a look at this. Oh, if I can get in here. We're going deep, deep under the overland here. I'm actually laying down. Let's go up. Yeah, yeah, man. You look at that open flywheel. Uh, I'm guessing that fuel tank might be uh, under the seat. Maybe I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know where the battery is either. I'm not an Overland guy. Yeah, the radiator fill cap. You look at that. The that, uh, what do they call that, cloisoning? It's kind of uh, baked on to the metal. It, it's enamel baked on. So, this car is sold. 1950 New Overland Model 83 Touring Car. Um, I love how they did the seat upholstery here with this kind of leather trim here and uh, then you have your cloth, and you look at the door, the door latches. You got that uh, lever that goes across. You've got this little accessory button here, buttons. What's that? Horn, magneto, yeah, I can't read the others. And you have this little uh, gear shifter selector here. Oh my gosh. Wow, uh, brake and clutch. I need to go back to school and learn how to drive in Overland. This thing looks complex. Um, there's some kind of outside uh, oil filler here for the. This is for the rear. The rear leaf spring. You can uh, grease those fittings there. Hey, I see myself in the paint, yeah. in the reflection. <laughs> Um, you got the uh, the outside brakes, um, and the other cool thing about these older cars is the uh, the leaf springs are kind of tapered off smooth. So you look at older uh, uh, older Fords, the earlier Fords had that that really beautiful tapered leaf spring there, and uh, some of these older ones, you can see how the spring kind of curls around. I think that goes back to um, like the old uh, horse and buggy carriage days. So, anyhow, enough on the Overland.